Tyler and I are up in Northwest Ontario on this week's episode of the Sportsman's Journal. We are going to target walleyes, clear water, finesse tactics. Yep, we're going, we're going to use the Lindy rig, the old school Lindy rig, split shot and a hook. And we're going to be fishing a lot of different structures. We're going to show the versatility of the Lindy rig. And we got the right equipment. We got the KCRs. We got the perfect boat. Beautiful lake. Beautiful lake. And everybody knows that Northwest Ontario is known for walleyes. That's what a lot of people come up here and target. Yep. And we're going to help people who are on clear water lakes midsummer. They shut down a little bit. A little bit, yep. Could be a little more challenging. So we're going to show you how to beat that challenge. Yep, I'm excited to do that. All right. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. looking for flats off of main lake points right now. We're fishing midsummer, and on these clear lakes up here, this Canadian Shield right here, I'm marking fish right now. You can see those on here. That's on the regular sonar. Now what I like to do to verify that those are walleyes is switch to the down imaging. And you can see it breaks each individual fish up. And it, it's almost like an x-ray of what you're looking at. And that's the signify right there. Hey, those are definitely fish because they're, you can see each individual fish. And if we back over those with the sonar, you get a bigger reading, but however, it marks them as more of a kind of a blob. Let's see if we can go right back over them again. There they are right here. So what you're picking up now is the sonar showing you the fish. Like you can tell, okay, that's definitely a fish there because there's space in between the bottom. And these are nice walleyes right here. But if I go back to my down imaging, Look at that clarity it picks up of each individual fish. We're just gonna take the linear rigs, cast them out, get them to the bottom, drag them super slow. With the leech, you gotta let them take it for a little bit. But I think those fish are right out here. So let's just spot lock and let's give it a shot. And if not, we'll keep moving around. You're working way too fast. You're like jigging your leech. Okay, I'll let you be. I've caught a fish and had two hits. You've had a snag. You've had a bass, which does not count. Pretty sure that's a species of species of fish. Oh. Now get ready, he'll come back. You feel the weight, just I got one going. There's a fish. Do you need the net? I don't know. He's going out to deep water. I'm working one too. Are you? You got oh, another? No. Missed yours? Missed mine. This one feels pretty good. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That's a nice walleye. He's acting all funny coming up to the surface. Is he being chased? I don't know. That's one of the, the cool things up here fishing these clear water lakes is you can see what's going on down there. And don't be surprised if a lot of times you got a big northern or a musky following. That's a nice walleye right there. That's what we're after. He's pretty down there, huh? Sunset country gold. Yep. I'll swing him into you this time. There we go. Perfect. Let's take a look at him. That's what we're after right here. Whoa. You got one on your rod? No, my rod just fell over. If I can get a handle on him. It's gonna be a little bit difficult here. Here we go, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful walleye right there. Pretty simple stuff. Split shot, we're using about one eighth ounce split shot. I got a swivel on there to keep line twist down. And on the business end, just a little live bait hook and a leech. Beautiful Canadian Shield Lake walleye right there. You got that for me? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wind is picking up. That was quite the hook set. That was quite the hook set. Is it a big one? Looks no, decent. it's a nice one, yeah. That was a sweeping hook set on a Lindy Rig walleye. Oh yeah, look how pretty they are down there. Isn't that cool? Just hanging down there in a boulder flat. You know what, and what we're finding out is we started out with one with one of us with the leech and then Sarah started with the minnow and it's been strictly leech, hadn't it? Yeah, I didn't get any, not even a nibble on my minnow. Not even a nibble on the minnow. Let's see if I can go down here and grab them. Man, they are pretty though, aren't they? Jeez, look at that. That's awesome. That's a cookie cutter, beautiful yeah. fish. Perfect eaters right there. That's what we come up here for. 
pop right out. Beautiful. I love it. If you don't like catching walleyes, I've said this many times, you should probably take up golf if you're not having fun doing this stuff. Back down below she goes. So what we're doing here, we got the fish marked. We marked the walleyes and I kind of know exactly where they're at. They're about 15, 20 feet behind the boat. And an important thing that you want to do, especially in these clear bodies of water, is you want to anchor, if you can, we, we're lucky enough to have the spot lock, but you want to position the boat either above the fish, behind the fish, off the side. You don't really want to stay on top of them, especially when they're only a 15 foot, because these fish have visibility up to probably 20 feet in this lake. So you want to stay away from the fish a little bit and pitch back to them. And that's why these Lindy rigs that we're using today are perfect for it. It's just, all we're doing is a split shot, a live bait hook and a little bit of bead to protect our knot. And that's all we're doing. We're dragging it with live bait. So it's about as simple as it can get. And but, we're using finesse tactics yeah, because of the weather patterns. Yeah, it is finesse fishing at its finest. So slow with the leech and we're just dragging. And another key thing is make sure you're close to the bottom at all the time. You want to make sure that your line's limp as you drag. And as you let your rod tip go back, your leech is hitting to the bottom again those walleyes are sitting belly at the bottom. Oh, fish, there we go. <laughs> Feels like a smally, but I'm hoping I'm wrong. The bass are mixed in with the walleyes down here. He's staying down a little bit. Yeah, he's not coming to I think it's though. a really nice bass, actually. Is that a walleye? The, do you need the net? No, it's a bass. Nope, it is a walleye. It's something. Do you need the net? With gills, no. It's another perfect eater. Boy, they're pretty though, huh? I can swing them right in. I got perfect hook set in there. I got a really lively leech. Do you? Yeah. Well, that's what you want. You don't want to put any dead leeches on. That's why they call it live bait, hunt. I don't know. It's causing me a lot of heartache here. Another walleye. Right in the beak. Popped it out of there. Tell you what, if you're going to... Keep one to eat, that's good table fare right there. That's the great thing about up here in South Scent Country. These lakes are full of walleyes like this. That's why people come up here, great fish. Put them back in there. So let's take a quick look here and show you exactly how what we have rigged up. So we're using mono. We, we both have six pound tests there and I, and I got a one eighth ounce split shot, probably about two feet above my live bait hook down here and I put a little bead so that knot is protected down there against rocks and stuff like that because you don't want that to be getting nicked up. We're put about uh, 18 to 20 inch fluorocarbon leader so those rocks don't chip your line up a whole lot. Abrasion resistance, the fluorocarbon does a good job and that's pretty much it. You swivel, it's up to you. We put a swivel on there to keep line twist down because when this is sitting down here sometimes that leech will twist a little bit especially if you're if it's really super windy, you get more movement on your leech. But other than that, that's all we're doing. Pretty simple stuff. And for the rods, of course, KCRs, we're using a little bit longer rods. Sarah's got fish on right now. Nice work, hon. Feel good? Yep. Yep. Net fish? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Pulling some drag. You want these limber rods? You want it for hook sets because what you're doing is you're dragging and you want to have some power on your hook set. So that's why these longer rods help out. Sarah's got a nice one right now. Get that net ready. Here he comes. You see him? Oh, hey, that's a nice marble eye right there. Just a glimpse, but. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Woo. They're pulling good today, huh? Yeah, they are. There you go. A little more. There, look at that. Nice. Nice. All right. You see what Sarah's got on there? She's trying to catch the big female. She's got a pink hook. It's always got to be. Got to attract the Oh, right it matches ones. your rod too, right? Yeah. You gotta look good out here. Yeah. There, there we go. go. Nice. All right. Nice work. That's a nice one. On a leech? Got her on a leech. So I'm gonna give you a minnow then. Ha ha. I'm not surprised that you wanna sabotage me. I got fish. Right there. They are just smacking it. They. Just cast after cast. The leech, they're on the chew, the leech chew here. That's all they want. Candy. Yeah, minnows are off the menu here. Do you need the net? No, you know what, you keep fishing, I got this one. 
none of these are mega donkeys yet so and it's good it's a good workout for me to bend down there grab those walleyes look at that it's another ho hum 18 and a half incher Woo. You know, lots of guys are out here pulling cranks, trolling harnesses, stuff like that. Not too many people out here doing a split shot and a, and a hook. It's about as old school as you can go. And I tell you what, some things never go out of style. And the Lindy Rig is one that's been around for a long time and it's gonna be around for probably forever. As long as there's walleye swimming in lakes, guys are gonna be using Lindy Rigs, another nice walleye. Beautiful fish. Another thing that's making this easy for Sarah and I is having total control with the 1850 Crestliner Pro Tiller. I mean, this boat is perfect for multi-species, but it is most effective for walleye fishing. You have a lot of room. The console is kind of your operation station, the office, as you will, for Sarah and I, when we're on the water. All your controls are right here. And with the tiller boat, you're on a, you can turn on a dime and you can just put yourself on the spot a lot easier on these clear water clear water lakes, these fish are on structure that is extremely small. We're not talking about huge, big, massive amounts of structure that these walleyes are spread upon. They're really tight and they're really bunched together right now. And that's what you get with clear water on a lot of these lakes up here that are gin clear, is the structure that the fish are on are small. So having precise boat control is gonna help you get a lot more fish in the boat. Is he coming back over here? Uh, I'm gonna try to bring him over here. Dub. Dubs? That yeah. girl? Good fish? Feels like it. Mine's actually got a little bit of power here. All right. Why don't you take your time? Yeah, mine isn't huge. No, okay. Mine's not Goliath either, but he's a nice, it's a nice walleye. There's no question about it. Oh yeah. Mine is about a cookie cutter to the one you just had, I think. Is it? Yeah. So what, you got about an 18 over there? Yeah. Mine might be a while. Can you, there he goes. Look at that. Jeez. This is some action here. Yeah. This is kind of what you can expect up here. Yeah, we're up in uh, Sunset Country, Northwest Ontario, in the Prout Falls, Vermilion Bay area. And, uh, whoa. Well, mine was released at the boat. Did you let yours go? <laughs> Do you need the net? No, I'm gonna, I probably should, but we'll go a little unorthodox. See if I can see how well he behaves. He behaved pretty well for me. And the nice thing about being up in this Isn't area nice? is the yeah. plethora of lakes and accommodations that you can choose from. So basically you can find anything you're looking for. Great fish. Yeah, I mean. As far as species, housekeeping, American plan, if you want pet friendly, internet, you just visit sunsetcountry.com and they have a list of all the resorts and lodges in the area and you can well it's tough to go wrong pick up here what you're I mean, looking for. Yeah. all the lakes are good it's a beautiful area yeah look at that screen sarah they're full of walleyes right now they're in about 22 foot right now so you want to pitch it out and the key with you don't want to cast your line out you want to pitch it you want to lob it more Last thing you want to do is fling off your leech every time. It's exactly where they're at, where you just cast. Good. Oh, here we go. Oh, fish on, guys. Yeah. Like clockwork. There's a little bit of weight here. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you work? Try to get a double here. Okay. Doubles are always nice. Let's see what we got here. Woo! Oh, he's giving you some... Yeah, that's a little better fish right here. You sure you don't want the net? You know what? I might have to tell you to put your rod down. I know you don't like to hear that from me. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Gorgeous. 
Wow, look at that walleye. Is that awesome or what? Let's swing them in. Nice. That right there is a gorgeous fish. Look at that, huh? Oh, that's a nice one. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. That thing is gorgeous. Oh, and you barely Perfect have Perfect hook. Hey, that's that. all you need. Got him in though. Oh yeah. Of course, we're gonna say barely had him hooked and what a nice fish right there. That's a 22 incher. Beautiful. These are the ones that need to go back. That's why the fishing up here is so great is there's so many big fish like this. The brood stock, that 22 inch size, they produce a lot, a lot of, a lot of eggs. Whoop, there he is. Yeah. Doubles. Nice job, Sarah. Good fish? No, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a nice, nice walleye. nice walleye, yeah, but. We got right not a on dog. top of them where we needed to be. Perfect. That's a perfect walleye. Yeah. I think I might have the same one you got on right now. You got his brother on? Yeah, I got his brother on. Tell you, that's the other thing. When they're up on the weeds, they're up on the weeds to eat. They don't. Too. Oh no. I tried to lift mine up and I lost mine. You got yours? I got mine. Finally. Yeah. Nice fish, hon. Pretty, oh, huh? Gee. Yeah. Here you go. These fish, so much fun. That's what we're looking for. Whoop. Ooh. Better fish? That feels good. Ooh. I need to reel in. I don't know if this is a bass. Well, I'm reeling in. Or Mr. Marble Eye, but it feels good on the KCR. Staying down. Yeah. So that is a very good sign. Yep. Very, very good sign. I'm waiting to see some gold. Oh. A little run. A little run right there. What do you see down there, hon? Nothing. You're yet. on the perch, the lookout. Nothing, yeah. This is a small, he's a tank. Yeah. And I'm guessing it's not. Could be lake record. Could be lake record. Here he comes. Oh, wow, that's what we're after right there. Perfect. That is, oh. I was gonna say Sarah's gonna show the point of the net. Nets are made for scooping, not stabbing. And that's another thing, when people get up here, you know, they get a fish of a lifetime on and they wanna get that fish in right away and the fish is not ready. So they go and they kind of jab at the fish. You wanna be able to scoop, scoop the fish up when it's ready. Yeah, I got your rod. Yeah, not stab it. This is a tank of a walleye here. But look at this. Huh? That is a beautiful fish. Here, get that rod out of the way. What a beast. That's what we're after right there. You know what, there's big walleyes all over North America, but I'm gonna tell you right now, there are none prettier than fish up here in Northwest Ontario. Unreal. They're giant goldfish. And I got him well, hooked as good as you could possibly get. Pop that hook off there in a second. What an awesome walleye. There he is. Got him, hon? Yes. Nice. Need the net? I don't know yet. I would say maybe it's the same size as the one you same just Same size? Caught. I'll come up there and hit him. You know what? We probably got to get in anyway. Whoa. This is probably a good last fish, huh? It's a nice uh, flash when you see that little white tip on the tail, huh? Yeah. We've caught lots of walleyes today. You want to give now. the school a little break? Yeah, we'll give the school a break. Look at that one. You want me, you got her? Look at how gold that fish is. Mm. Showing me his, her dis... Displeasure of being in yeah. the bag? Or discomfort. All right. Pop that off. Nice work. There we go. Well, Sarah, pretty good time out here. It was fantastic. Northwest Ontario sunset country was awesome. It's always nice to be up here. Catching them Lindy rig style. 
the way to do her. It, Finesse tactics. Yep. Gets them every time. Especially when uh, the fish, the bite is a little tough. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was very much fun. Well, thank you for joining us. Be sure to check out our website, sportsmansjournaltv.com, or our Facebook page. We give away a lot of stuff on We there. do. We give a lot. Of, I've actually entered a couple times to see if I can win it, but I don't ever get chosen know, for some reason. Un unsuccessful. Yeah. But. Here's what it is. I'll keep trying. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week on the Sportsman's Journal. Start planning your ultimate Canadian hunting or fishing trip at visitsunsetcountry.com. Can't get enough of the Sportsman's Journal? Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and our YouTube page. Also, check our website out, sportsmansjournaltv.com. Hey, you just gotta visit Sunset Country.